Hi friends, Miss Liz here again. I'm back with another cool creature from my collection. Um, I actually have four of the same creature to show you today, um, but they're a little bit different because their colors are a little bit different. So first of all, I wanna say uh, hi to Brinley and her sister Avery because two of these creatures came from them. So it'll be pretty exciting for you guys to see how they look now. Um, it's been a while since you guys have seen them. So, and thank you for giving them to me because they're pretty, pretty awesome pets. So I'll show you the first one. This guy has been to nursery school before. This is Steve and he usually comes for yellow day at nursery school and you can see why because he has these beautiful yellow colors on him. And he is a bell albino leopard gecko. So the only reason he's called a bell albino is because of his colors. It's a type of a uh, what's called a morph. So their colors um, are called morph. And uh, he has these really cool pink eyes and you can see that the light um, hurts his eyes because his eyes are very sensitive and so you might see him kind of squinting you might see his tongue come up see there he goes he's squinting because <laughs> this the light is hurting his eyes um so he's he's really cool he's um he's pretty tame as you can see um pretty relaxed he's a really old gecko we're actually not exactly sure how long how old he is um i got him from a girl who couldn't take care of him any longer so um we've had him for quite a few years and um he's pretty old so they live to be about uh 15 or 20 years and that's a long time to have a pet so you have to make sure that you you can take care of them for that long um that you know you're going to be able to take care of them because and give them a good home so so Steve's an old man. Um, he has this really cool tail. It's fat up here and it gets skinny near the bottom. Um, leopard geckos, they store fat in their tails. So when they eat, all their fat goes to their tails. And when they can't find food, um, they use the fat that's in their tails and they use that for their food source. Um, so sometimes when leopard geckos get scared, they're, they'll actually drop their tail off. Um, they're one of the uh, types of lizards that can grow back their tail, but it grows back little. So usually it's just a little stumpy tail. I had one a few years ago that had, a, that had dropped its tail when it was a baby and it grew back and it was about half the size that it normally would have been. Um, so they, they, in the wild, they live in very hot places. So from about um, Asia to all the way to India, um, places like that where it's really hot because with most reptiles, they can't um, regulate their body heat. So they can't stay warm from their blood like we can. So they need to, to live somewhere that's hot. Or if they live in, um, in your house, they need to have like a heat lamp. So all my leopard geckos have heat lamps that shine on them in their, in their enclosures so that they stay nice and warm. So this is Steve, so he's our old man. I'm gonna put him away and then I'll pull out one of our um, leopard geckos that came from Brinley um, and her family. So this is our female that we got from them. So this is Maggie Mae and Maggie Mae is a wild woman. She, um, <laughs> she really doesn't like to be held very much, but we're working on that and it's been a while. So, um, we're, she's come a long way since we first got her. So she's a big girl. Um, she is my biggest gecko. Um, she is super healthy. She's got lots of weight on her and her tail is super big um, and nice and healthy. And she's different colors as you can see. She's, she's mostly yellow, but her tail has spots on it and she's got a little bit of orange she's got some really pretty colors and her eyes are a little bit different they're a little bit darker um you can see her sticking out her tongue because she's using her tongue to smell they have something on the roof of their mouth called a jacobson's organ and that's what they use to smell they also use their nose too but um, mostly they use their tongue to smell things and you can see i have to be careful sometimes she bites so <laughs> she's one of my geckos that bites 
but uh, we're working on that. She's, she, I, at first I couldn't hold her at all. So um, we've come a long way and she just shed, geckos shed their skin. So when they get, uh, when they grow and their skin gets too tight, they shed their skin and it all comes off. And uh, she shed a few days ago. And what they do with it is they eat it. It all comes off usually in one piece um, and then they eat it. And the reason they eat it is because it contains a lot of calcium and a lot of good nutrients that makes them healthy. So another reason they would do it is in the wild um, is if they didn't want predators to know where they'd been and follow them, they eat it so that there's no sign of where they've been. So um, they're not very good climbers. They usually live on the ground and they love to hide. Um, they're nocturnal which means that they sleep during the day and they're up at night. So um, a lot of reptiles are nocturnal. And these guys, um, they're most active early, early in the morning and um, sort of late at nighttime, um, like just after supper, like at dusk. So that's usually when I feed them. And I feed them about um, five or six crickets every other day and or every third day and they love crickets and it's super fun to watch them hunt for crickets they run after them and they grab them in their mouth and it's it's super fun to watch them eat um they'll also eat worms like wax worms or hornworms or all kinds of um bugs like that they really like their bugs and um you got to make sure that they have water because um otherwise their skin won't shed very well. So I missed them every couple of days as well to keep them keep them nice and moist. So this is Maggie Mae. So Maggie Mae is going to go back and I'm going to get you another one to show you. So this is Maggie Mae. This is the other one that came um, from Brinley and this is Jude and Jude is a male and he again he's similar to Maggie Mae's color but he's a little bit darker and his eyes are a little bit darker still and he's not as big as her he's pretty young um and he's uh he's a boy so um maybe in the future we're gonna see if maggie may he and maggie may can have babies um and they lay eggs um like a lot of reptiles do they lay eggs so they lay about two eggs um about every month and um whoops there we go He's, he's a wild man too. He needs to be held more. Um, I'm working on him too. And uh, yeah, so they lay two eggs and then um, they the eggs need to be kept warm and then they hatch and you have babies. So it's pretty cool. He and Steve make these really cool sounds. Um, they sound like gurgles and the males make the sounds to attract the females to them. And this guy is is really loud when he makes those sounds and sometimes when he gets upset he'll make the sounds and Steve does it too. So um, this is Jude. So I'm going to put Jude back because he's kind of a wild and I'm going to put him back. So um, Geckos are really cool. They have a hundred teeth. So they have teeny tiny little teeth and uh, once every I would say about three or four months the teeth come out and then they grow new ones. So it's super cool. Last one I'm going to show you is uh, Jasper. And Jasper's uh, really special. Jasper has um, something called Enigma Syndrome. And you can see his head looks funny and he sort of walks funny. Enigma Syndrome is something that leopard geckos get. Um, it's a neurological disorder, which means that their brain doesn't work right. It sometimes makes them feel like they're dizzy. Um, and they can't walk very well and their balance is all off. So they just feel ooh, like wobbly. And so um, Jasper has enigma syndrome and that means it's, it's kind of sad because it means that Jasper can't hunt for his own food. So if Jasper was living in the wild, he probably wouldn't survive because he couldn't, he couldn't hunt for his food. So Jasper has to be hand fed. So every two days I feed Jasper by, by hand um, and I put the cricket up to his nose and he opens his mouth and he grabs the cricket. Um, he can't see very well. He, we think that he's probably blind in one of his eyes. Um, and so, yeah, he's sort of a special case. He's, he's, um, he's a really gentle, um, friendly gecko and he gets held a lot because, well, he's special. 
So um, that's Jasper and yeah, he's a special case. So he's one of my favorites, I have to say. Um, but he, he, even though he looks funny, he's still he's still a super cool gecko and and we love him just the same. So those are my awesome leopard geckos and I hope you enjoyed seeing them and they'll be uh they'll probably come into nursery school because they are one of the best things to bring into nursery school because they're so gentle and easy to hold and they're a great pet so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back again probably next week with another one um I still have a couple creatures left so uh yes everyone stay safe I miss you all and I'll see you soon Mwah. Bye.